In this video, we will show you how to scan and the sonar anatomy required to perform an ultrasound-guided femoral nerve block. This block has many potential indications, such as analgesia for surgery of the hip, knee, anterior thigh and the medial aspect of the lower extremity, or used in combination with a sciatic and obturator nerve block for analgesia for knee replacement. The dose of local anaesthetic required really depends upon the clinical situation, but generally between 10 to 20 mils of a long-acting local anaesthetic like levobupivacaine should suffice. In this schematic overview, we show you the cutaneous innervation of the whole lower limb. We'll now focus on the lumbar plexus innervation of the lower limb, with the iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerves, the genitofemoral nerve innervation, the femoral nerve and lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, obturator and saphenous. Here we will cover lumbar plexus anatomy in a little bit more detail. In this schematic you can see the internal oblique muscle with the other abdominal musculature being removed already. Deep to internal oblique you see psoas major and psoas minor, the iliacus muscle which is on the internal surface of the ilium, sartorius, pectineus and adductor longus. You can also visualise the descending aorta as it comes down to form the external iliac artery an external iliac vein lying medial to it. With the psoas muscles and sartorius removed, you can see a little bit more of the anatomy demonstrated here. You can see quadratus lumborum lying behind the lumbar plexus, iliacus lying on the internal surface of the ilium, and the inguinal ligament overlying the femoral vessels with the femoral nerve. This close-up of the inguinal region emphasises the area we will scan, with the inguinal ligament running from the ilium to the pubic bone, the femoral vessels running underneath it, with the femoral nerve lying laterally. You will see in this schematic how the nerves form from the lumbar plexus. The lumbar plexus is made up of divisions of the first four lumbar nerves plus contributions from T12. We will start with the obturator nerve, then the genitofemoral nerve, the femoral nerve as it then passes down to become the terminal branch of the saphenous nerve, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, the ilioinguinal nerve, and finally the iliohypogastric nerve. In this model we have exposed the right leg. We are first palpating the anterior superior iliac spine and then the pubic tubercle with the right groin exposed. A high frequency linear probe is placed transversely in the right groin. The colour Doppler mode is employed to ensure clear identification of a single femoral artery and a femoral vein. If two arterial pulsations are visualised it means the probe is too distally in the limb as the profunda femoris has already branched off. It is also important to identify whether the lateral circumflex femoral artery is within the line of needle trajectory. With the colour Doppler now removed, the probe is slid laterally to identify the fascia of the iliacus muscle, or the fascia iliaca, with the fascia lata lying superficial to it. The probe is slid laterally more to identify the lateral extent of the ilias os muscle as it meets sartorius here. The probe is then slid back towards the femoral vessels. At this point, probe angulation identifying the anisotropic femoral nerve allows clear identification of it here, lying tightly adherent to the surface of the iliacus muscle. In this schematic overlay, you can see the important structures highlighted for clarity. The superficial fascia lata is identified, deep to that, the fascia iliaca, which envelopes the femoral nerve medial to the femoral nerve, the femoral artery, and more medial, the femoral vein. The ilias psoas muscle lies deep to all structures. This is a demonstration of the needle insertion point for in-plane needling, with the needle coming in from the lateral aspect of the probe, aiming to keep it in line with the ultrasound beam. For out-of-plane needling, this is an example of the needle insertion point in relation to the probe. This is a video of an actual block. The needle is being inserted from the left hand side of the screen laterally. You can see the needle tip here passing below the femoral nerve 
and a hydrodissection technique being utilised to dissect the femoral nerve off the fascial surface of the ileus oas. As the needle passes deep to it, you can see it becoming surrounded by local anaesthetic. The needle is now walking above the femoral nerve and injecting local anaesthetic above it. The whole time the needle tip should be visualised and you can see the separate fibres of the femoral nerve being surrounded by local anaesthetic. A post-procedure scan shows how well the femoral nerve is covered. Here are some tips to ensure block success. Ensure optimal ergonomics. Make sure the line of sight, the needle, the machine and the probe are all in line. Ensure that the femoral artery is scanned proximally before its division to the profunda femoral artery. It is important to use colour Doppler to identify any vessels in close proximity, such as the lateral circumflex femoral artery, which can get in the way of needle trajectory. It often helps to inject local anaesthetic below the femoral nerve in order to float it as you're depositing your local anaesthetic. Always inject your local anaesthetic in small 1 to 2 mil aliquots to ensure a visible, low pressure, low volume injection.